The Insight mission is releasing the first three months of seismic data. These uncalibrated data span from landing on November 26, 2018 to February 28, 2019. Included is test data from the seismometer as it was sitting on the deck of the lander for the first 23 days of the mission. On December 19, the seismometer was placed on the surface of Mars by the robotic arm. Because of the change in location from the deck of the lander to the Martian surface, data from the seismometer after the deployment can be found under two new station codes. The seismometer was exposed to the elements on the surface of Mars until the wind and thermal shield was deployed to cover the seismometer on February 2nd. These data are not continuous. It is important to remember that this is a first release of uncalibrated data. There are no Mars quakes or meteorite impacts thought to be recorded in these first three months. The seismometer recorded wind and weather, lander operations, and is really just getting started. InSight is on a two-year mission to study the interior of Mars, and the first Mars quake recorded will be in a future data release. For each of the station codes, there are a lot of channels. There are broadband and short period data at varying frequencies, captured in different channels. Additionally, the mission is always monitoring the health of the seismometer. For more details on the range of channels, check out the metadata page. Channels may not be running continuously, so at times, when you view the data, there may be gaps. During that time, data is being recorded on another channel. There are three ways to access data. On the web with our Mars monitor, we have chosen what we feel is the best representative channel. Download our JAMASI software to stream the data in delayed real time, or access the data directly through the IRS Data Management Center's web services. Check out our additional videos for more information on each of the options.